How much do they pay for carpenters? For carpenters. Well, and I'm going to say union. Dude, you and this, you can make 160 a year. Wow. But you're going to work hard. It's not easy. But you have to get up early and go to work and not miss work. Uh, the way we're going right now, 160 is pretty good money. Starting apprentice, we can make 60, 80. In about four years, you end up making about $60 plus about $25 in benefits. After 30 years, you can finish and you can get your pension. Pretty good money. That's really good money. Pretty good money. What are they doing exactly? So right here we have the building and design uh, competition. I'm a construction teacher. I'm a retired carpenter from the union after 30 years. I'm teaching now junior high and high school, teaching the young men and women that there is good money to be earned, clean money, and we're teaching the next generation that we can build our, our, our city, our country. So you need to come to work, ready to work, willing to learn, and you're going to sweat. But you're gonna earn very good money. Is, is this how you started? Where did you start? I started as something like this, but it was not a high school. It was a pre-apprentice program for three months. Then I joined the union, and I started doing concrete, and I finished the interiors. I worked for one company most of my career with Tyson Permanente as a superintendent, and um, it's very good business. It's nice to see something that you create or you help create when you prove. You never do something by yourself. Somebody, you always have a crew that help you achieve what you need to do. This is a great start. The students don't pay for anything. Everything, they get materials and tools for free when we do in the classroom. And it's a great It's a lot of work for these young men and women to be doing that. Yes. It's good to see that, you know, there's also a lot of women that are yes. into this field. It's not for the faith of God. That's for It's a lot of work, but we can do it. But we need the support of our, our men. And the men support the women and it becomes a team. Okay. You need both sides of the story to see what going on. Hopefully they get more women. It's not easy work, but you don't have to work just with your own. It's just an end of working superintendent, project engineer with your the paperwork, safety, estimator, a bunch of stuff, running the program, the background of the program. So there's a lot of work for even for men that want to work with their tools. Yeah. There's a lot of work to to get into those positions, you need to get into the union? Or? Well, I'm a union carpenter. I started as a pre apprenticeship for four years, then I finished. Since I'm a union, I don't need licensing, but it's also good to continue your education, either in college or continue to um, better yourself, taking some classes on your own or in college, like estimating basic math. I, I'm also a OSHA instructor. That also did class to teach. We teach the students OSHA, so when they finish after three or four years, they have the OSHA 10 card and they're ready to go into the, into the, into the field. And they have the safety background, so they know how to not get injured. Yes. If you have your insurance, your, your license if you like, depending on what you want to continue. Like I said, I'm a union, so I need a need for the union. The union provides education for free, and that's why I got most of my education. They teach them and a lot of education. They also have different trades. You have plumbing, electrical, mechanical, uh, um, the cooling wires for the phones, whatever, low, low voltage. So you have a bunch of stuff that you can do. Uh, do you recommend one or all well, of them? I'm gonna be. I'm gonna recommend carpentry because to me the carpenters are the foundation of everything. You can build a house, and then the carpenters need to know about all the trades because. They're going to be going through your frame, through your walls. They're going to be going through the, through the ceiling. So to me, carpenters have a knowledge of everything they need to know in order to grow in your career. How much do they pay for carpenters? For carpenters. Well, I'm going to say you can start making, and I'm going to say union, about 25 bucks plus benefits. So it's not bad. In about four years, you end up making about $60 plus about $25 in benefits. After 30 years, you can finish and you can get your pension. Also, too, doing this, you can make 160 a year. Wow. But you're going to work hard. It's not easy. But you have to get up early and go to work and not miss work. So it's easy. Uh, the way we're going right now, 160 is pretty good money, but then again, nothing. So you can make easy 100. Starting, starting apprentice, we can make 60, 80. Pretty good money. That's really good money. Pretty good money. And then you don't, you don't have a huge loan of thousands of dollars. Thank you so much. Like, just work hard, be smart. We're retiring, we're getting older. Even if we know what to do, we're going to need somebody to come and work in our homes. Yeah, that's true. And then we have a shortage of men.
Okay. It's honest trade. Yeah, yeah, honest trade, good, good money. money. You can travel, you go to Africa in the morning, you know, you see the sunrise, and I enjoyed it. Yeah. So teaching, I give back, hopefully, somebody that wants to learn. Thank you so much. Thank you. I, I appreciate Thank you. Anytime, sir.